Hello gamers, welcome back. Do you want to get this great maze that is forever on fire, Molten Fury? Have you unlocked the secret Dolmen Smithing that provides you with some of the best endgame armors and weapons? Or how about earning 35,000 gold on top of all that? In this video, I will show you how to unlock all of these benefits and walk you through the side quest Dark Steel Cold Forge in Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, without further ado, let's get started. To begin with, you will have to reach the first main city, Vinworth. You will get here as you progress the main story normally for the first few hours. We will be starting from the castle inside of the city. From here, let's just walk towards the castle gate, and we are looking for a guard, Roman. Here he is, talk to him. Beg pardon, sir. And he will want us to talk somewhere more private. Might we not move for more discreet location? Just follow him to the garden. Firstly, pray, take this. He now will give you the quest and a broken ceremonial weapon, the regalia sword. Your quest is to basically find a smithy to restore it to its former glory. I should be well glad to see it restored to its former splendor by your hand. Now we have got the quest. The next step is to find a smithy. It's actually located at Black Battle. To reach there, we need to first take the ox cart from West Windworth Ox Cart Station. It will take us to the checkpoint rest town. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. From here, we are going up this way. Please note that you will have to reach a certain point of the main story to be able to cross the gate. So, if the gate is closed for you, keep doing the quests from Captain Brent until you get a permit. Alternatively, you can also wait on this route, and a much fancier cart will pass by, and you can hide in it to hitch a ride. You seek to go on through. After crossing the border, head towards the ox cart station. And this one will take us straight to Back Batal. This ox cart's bound for Back Batal. You've got to pay before we depart. After arriving at Back Batal, we'll be heading to the Brock Smithy, which is located here on the map. If tis a blacksmith you need, I can't help you. I'm retired, see? Talk to Broker, he immediately recognized the Regalia sword. He said he is capable, but unfortunately retired. Leave an old man in peace. But that's okay. If we go out, we will be stopped by Sarah, his apprentice. Beg pardon, sir. She wants to talk to us as Broker is off to the tavern. Psst. Hang about, eh? When he's gone, you and I can talk. So let's hang about and talk to Sarah again. Twas special made to use glimmer coal mined from a nearby cavern. Now she wants us to go to a place called Digger's Ruins to collect some glimmer coal to reignite the forge. Digger's Ruins, tis called. I'll count on you to bring lots of the stuff back. Digger's Ruins will be marked on our map. It's just outside the city. We can easily reach here by following this route. Fish that have gone to rot in my pack. Once we are in the cave, fully explore the place. Glimmer Co will give out very clear green light from afar, but dimmed when you get close. So pay attention as you explore. Sarah will need 25 of them. There should be enough in the cave. Remember, you can also reset the cave by resting in the camp. This ought to suffice, unless you'd rather mine for more, Master. Now we have enough Glimmer Co. Head back to Sarah and give them to her. You're back. Have you any glimmer call for me? Fuck it all! This'll last us a good while. You've my gratitude. She is excited, but Broker is not impressed. He's stressed and that he has retired and will not help. I'm done, understand? Sarah said if we entrust the sword to her, 
she will give it a try. And she is really our best option. So let's just do that. Well, what say you? I'm grateful for your trust, sir. From here, let's go out of the smithy and find the bench and wait for a day. On the next day, we go back to Broker Smithy to check up on Sarah. I've never seen this sort of craftsmanship. Sarah is stuck on some patterns on the blade. Broker told her it's a work of blaze hammer, a technique that is extremely oh. difficult to pull off. Uh, you're looking at the work of a blaze hammer. Brock has explained the process to me, but I wonder if that's enough. So she still hasn't made much progress. Now what we need to do is to wait for another day. On the next day, we visit Sarah again, and she is gone. You're the one who brought that regalia sword here in the first place, I. Broker told us she's off to Volcanic Island and trying to achieve Blaze Hammer. He blames us for being responsible for her reckless action and asks us to find her. And that's what we will do. You'd best go find her and bring her back in one piece, lest I ring my hammer against that hollow shell you call a skull. Now, this will be one of the most difficult journey you take in the entire game. I recommend leaving a pot crystal in back hotel and having a spare pot crystal with you. From the city, we will follow the main road, travel south. Until we reach Drabnia's Grotto, an exit from the other side. Here will be the volcanic island. Continue to follow the main road until we reach our destination, Mountain Base Cave. The entire journey is long and full of terror. It could take you an hour, so make sure you're fully prepared. Now, fast forward, we have arrived at our destination. Let's head in and make sure to clear all of the enemies on the way. Our goal is to reach this chamber marked in yellow on the map. And Sarah will be waiting for us. If tisn't the arisen, she has got a blaze hammer in her hand, but we will have to escort her quickly outside before the hammer cools down. This is the reason we want to clear the cave of enemies first. I hope you're ready, arisen, as there's not a moment to spare. Follow me and quickly. But don't just start to run outside yet. Make sure to open the chest on the right. You will get molten fury. And the chest on the left you will get a weak stone shot. Now we're ready to go. We've made it out at last. Once we are out, she will tell you it's been successful and I'll head back to Bak Patel. Then it's back to the smithy for the finishing touches. But before you also head back, I recommend you to continue east and reach Volcanic Island Camp. Drop a pot crystal there, so we don't have to repeat this tedious journey. Once you're ready, head back to Brock Smithy for the final step. You bird-brained buffoon! Where have you been? After few casting, you will be given the restored regalia sword. Your regalia sword looks newly forged, doesn't it, eh? Now we just need to hand it back to Roman. The castle guard of Wenworth. You should be familiar with the rune now. Take ox cart from Backbatel to checkpoint rest town. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. Can't set off till I've had my due. And then ox cart from checkpoint rest town to Wenworth. This ox cart's bound for Wenworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. We will find Roman still in the castle garden waiting for you to return. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I inquire as to what's become of the regalia sword? Just talk to him and hand over the regalia sword. So this is how the sword looked in its glory days of yore. Here's the quest finished, and you will be rewarded with 35,000 gold, which can be a large amount for early to mid game. But our reward is more than that. Head back to Broker Smithy in Back Hotel and talk to Sarah again. You will find she opened up her shop for you, and all the weapons and armors are those among the best in Endgame. 
She can also enhance your gear with Dolvin Smithy, which will improve defense and magic defense for you. Now there you have it. This concludes this tough but very rewarding quest, Doubt Still Code Forge. With the reward from this guide, you can easily blast through the endgame monsters without too much trouble. Now, I hope you find this video useful. Please leave a like and consider subscribing for future content gaming. This is Xin, as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.